Hi everyone and welcome back to Carefree Caravanning. This week we are in Oxfordshire on a little site called Lincoln Farm Park. It's a really beautiful little site. Um, it's about 12 miles west of Oxford, the city of Oxford, and a similar distance um, to the Cotswolds with all its beautiful historic market towns and villages. Um, so lots of nice places to visit. At this site, it is nine acres and the landscaping here is absolutely beautiful. It's so picturesque. You've got lots of mature trees. There's some weeping willows over in the distance. Uh, there's lots of hedging, lots of shrubbery, lots of flowers. Um, the wardens, you know, they're constantly working here to maintain it, weeding and cutting the grass and pruning. Um, really, really well maintained. What I love about this site is the fact that it's not in any way regimented. You haven't got rows and rows of caravans all lined up. The pictures are really dotted randomly around. You've got some in the corners, some in the middle, um, not close together. It's really beautiful. As you can see um, at the moment um, it's not particularly full. We are here, staying here at the beginning of May and this particular week it's um, fairly quiet not many people on pitch at all. Just over to your right there is a children's play area which looks very good actually. There's lots of activities there. Uh, there's slides, there's climbing frames, there's activity boards, swings and um, you've got wood chip on the floor as well so It'll be a soft landing. This is the outdoor washing up area, um, covered area so you won't get wet and there's several um, sinks and drainers here for doing all your washing up and uh, preparation. Next door to that we have got the laundrette. We just go inside and have a look. It's got an automatic light. You've got three dryers on this side and two washing machines on the other side. Ironing board, can't see an iron. Um, I believe the washing machines are £1.80 um, to use per cycle and they are um, tokens, so you go to reception and get a token. Also in here, right behind the door, is a little spin dryer, which is great because there is actually a pool here and when you come out and your cozy's all soaking wet um, you just pop it in there and it will take off the majority of the water so I like a spin dryer. So, uh, this is actually one of two blocks, um, toilet block, toilet shower blocks. This is the ladies, the gents is on the other side. Now, oh yes and they do a disabled facility. They've also got um, a family room with a bath um, uh, the disabled facility but you do need a key for these so you need to go to reception. Now these toilets, the site boasts five star standard hotel toilets so let's go and see if they're up to standard. Ooh, we've got some nice music playing. I must say these are of a very high standard. Very clean, spotlessly clean uh, modern, nice and modern. Oh look, there's um, <laughs> you've got shavers, shaver points here <laughs> in the ladies. Um, I don't need to use that just yet. I haven't got any hair on my chin just yet, but give me time. <laughs> right, so on this side we've got um, private washing cubicles, washing and dressing cubicles. Um, you've got your basin. One hook. Just moving around, you've got your showers. Yeah, they're the push button ones. I think the water lasts for about, I don't know, 10 to 15 seconds. And it's a fixed shower head. So several shower cubicles in here, several toilets, and obviously your private cubicles. Oh, nice modern hand dryers. Right, this is one of the two pools here at Lincoln Farm Park. Um, I'd just like to say we have been given permission to film in here and the people who are actually in the water, they have also agreed um, to be filmed. Uh, the pool is 12 metres in length 
and it is 1.3 meters in depth all the way along. Um, I was actually here this morning and from end to end you get about 12 strokes in so, <laughs> and I did 40 lengths this morning. Uh, floor um, around the pool it's really soft and spongy so it's non-slip so that's really good um, when you've got children in case you worry about them running and slipping. Just over here there is a little children's pool and over there is the jacuzzi which is lovely and bubbly. I was in there this morning as well. There are um, ladies and gents toilets in here, just one of each. We've got a sauna which is nice and steamy that will open up all your pores and there's also a shower here so if you want to do it the Swedish way <laughs> jump in to a cold shower and back in the sauna you can do so. Here is the steam room which is very hot and steamy and um, here are the showers, three showers. Now there, there are uh, changing rooms just as you come in, so ladies and gents. Um, no showers in those, so if you do want to have a shower afterwards, uh, then you will shower here. There are lockers in there. Um, yeah, that's about it. We're actually in the village of Standlake. Uh, the nearest town is Whitney, which is about a 10 minute drive up the road. And in Whitney, you've got several supermarkets. You've got a Sainsbury's, a Waitrose, Little Co-op, um, several petrol stations, um, DIY store, there is a B&Q. Right, this is the entrance, this is the barrier. It's an electronic barrier and you need a little card um, that you get from reception um, to zap on that. Now, you do have to pay £10 deposit for that. You get it on, on arrival and when you return it on your departure, you'll get that money refunded to you. Arrival time here is one o'clock. Um, please don't arrive before that time and departure time is 12 o'clock. Uh, the latest arrival time is actually 8 o'clock, um, so just bear that in mind. And reception is open from half past eight in the morning until eight o'clock at night. This is the reception area. Really, really pretty. Lots of lovely um, tubs with lavender, I believe that is, and some um, tables and chairs. Um, next, right next door to that, we've got the car park, and on a Thursday evening, they have a fish and, ch fish and chip van that comes to the site. And on a Friday, there is a pizza man who comes. So if you don't fancy cooking, there's your chance to have a night off. Let's go in to reception and see what this is all about. A very welcoming team on reception. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> um, uh, there's a small shop here. Um, if we just show you around what you can get. Um, just kind of basic supplies, really. sauces, your bread, cereal, ketchup for the fish and chip man, vinegar. Here we've got some locally produced beers. They are from the Witchwood Brewery which is based in the local town Whitney which I've said earlier is about 10 minutes away. And this is my favourite bit over here. This is a selection of aromatherapy products from Neil's Yard. One of my favourites. So I shall be coming back here with Keith's wallet and <laughs> buying several items, I think. And there is the sweet section for Now we're on holiday. Right, if we just go through the door from reception, over here, we've got a games room. And also you've got toilets there, um, which is probably your first port of call once you've been driving for several hours and you arrive in reception. There's your toilets. Right, we've joined at reception by Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for having a little chat with us. You're welcome. Um, I must say, it's a beautiful site. Absolutely gorgeous. So well maintained. Thank and you. So many facilities. I mean, the toilet and shower block, the the you know the grounds themselves, and you've also got two swimming pools. Two here, indoor I swimming pools with sauna and spas, jacuzzis. So the whole works in there, yeah. Lovely. And what, uh, is that free for guests or do they Basically, have to... it's an extra charge, but you can either privately book it, so you can have the pool to yourself for 55 minutes, and that starts okay. from £20 for our family. So that's you in there on your own with no one else, 
Right. Or it goes up to about 23 for larger pool. Other than that, we have open sessions at different times of the day where you can come and it's just £4 an adult, £2 a child to come in and use the pools. OK, and that includes use of jacuzzi, this sauna, steam. sauna, jacuzzi, this steam, room. everything's included in that And price. you've got a gym as well, I believe. We do. We have a gym that's open from half past seven till, I mean, half past eight until half past seven daily. And that's just £2 to come and use the gym. Brilliant. We've yeah. brand new machines this year as well. I'll try and get Keith in there at some stage. <laughs> no, not going to happen. He's on holiday. Um, okay. How many pitches do you actually have? So in total site? now, 672. 72. So okay. 72 pitches. I think it's 26, 27 of our fully service pitches. So that's for your higher rampage electric, your water, grey waste on there as well, and a yeah. TV aerial hookup cable on them once. Right, so it's not particularly busy this week. We're at the beginning no. of May, aren't we? Yes. What sort of turnover do you get throughout the year, and what sort of age group do you get visiting? Really mixed. High season is summer holiday, so when the children are off school, lots of families, lots of people coming in tents or camper vans. We're dog friendly as well, so a lot of people can bring their little dogs along. We've yes, got a little dog, got a dog walk on site yes. as well. And yes. then just a the local area, loads of walks around the lakes um, yeah. to the local pub. Yes, the Windrush walk. The Windrush walk, yes. and you've got the Black Horse just around the corner here as well. So a good place for all age ranges, all really, ages, with all yes. the facilities that you've yeah, got Yeah, we've got offer. a direct bus route outside the site as well, so people that... Don't have yeah. rock car, they come in a motor home, they want to get the bus to the local town. Yes. You can get the bus literally directly outside the campsite and that can, you can get a follow-on bus into Oxford. So you can go to Oxford. Sarah, that's brilliant. You've been really, really helpful. I'd like to say thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah, thank we'll you. We'll speak to you soon. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. So the pitches here are a really good size. Um, we actually asked when we arrived if we could park the caravan uh, put the caravan on the grass a little bit because we've got the awning up um, as well um, we've also have a picnic table which is very very nice and um, it's a really lovely lovely pitch uh, if you're using uh, if you are putting an awning up rug pegs are great uh, they really are solid when they go in um, mobile phone wise uh, as we say uh, before on many of our videos we have three and EE and both the signals are superb so if you're using it for hotspots um, you can upload and download and use your Wi-Fi that's fantastic um, if you want to use the club's Wi-Fi that's in reception I believe um, and that's charged at two pounds per, per device um, you can pay ten pound a week to upload and download um, the TV reception now each bollard on the service pitches actually has a TV point, so you can connect your caravan to the bollard. Um, if you want to buy a TV cab cable, um, the reception sell them. They're £15 for, I believe, 15 metres. Um, however, we put our aerial up and got fantastic signal. It's just a standard aerial um, in the caravan and great signal there. The amperage on the pitches on the service pitches is 16 amps so you can do whatever you like have your hair dryer going your straighteners going in my case and um, the drainage on um, the that's on the service pitch is supplied by a pipe which more or less goes to the side of your caravan so you just put your drainage into that the bollards are lit up at night as well so generally it's been um and i'm sorry on the water you have two two taps on the on the bollard as well so that's lincoln farm park here in stand lake in oxfordshire um i know it's been a long video but there is so there was so much that we wanted to show you about this site it's really really beautiful it's got so much going for it we would totally recommend it i would say this is possibly one of the nicest sites that we've been it to is, isn't it, has, it it is beautiful it is beautiful yeah. um, so we hope you've enjoyed it and hope it's going to be useful to you um, if you've enjoyed it please subscribe if you haven't already uh, there'll be a little caravan or come up over Michelle's uh, left shoulder so thank you very much indeed <laughs> so from both of us here see you next time thank you for watching see you soon.